I've got the thing about sunglasses. I'm beginning to think it might be an obsession. Mind you, these are not the super expensive luxury shades, but the ones that you can get for under, say $20 or so. So what's a girl to do? Make a cute case and keep it moving? Which brings us to today's tutorial. The multifunction sunglasses case with card slots. This case has a few key features you should know about. Most importantly, it has a side gusset to give your sunny some room depending if they're big or small, and it also has a nose bridge to keep them in the upright position. Is this project hard? Mm, not really, but it does depend on how much finessing you want to do. Parts of it can be sewn by machine, but the last part, the closing of the gusset, has to be done by hand. What takes up the most time, in my opinion, is the edge painting and the buffing. A list of tools and materials and links can be found down below in the description box. Also, there's a PDF pattern for this tutorial available for download. First, you want to print and cut the pattern. If you think you will make this project again, print on heavy cardstock paper. Cut along the outside edges of the black lines. Take your time and go for precision. Cut with a metal ruler and an X-Acto knife. Be note, there's no extra seam allowance built into this pattern. All sewing is at an eighth of an inch. If you think you need more or want more of a buffer, you should add it now. Transfer all marks and punch holes. Cut materials. Trace all pieces with a scratch all onto the leather. Make all your cuts count. Go for slow and accurate. These leather shears cut like a dream. They are super smooth and make cutting a breeze. The corners of this card case are kind of tight, so I recommend punching a little hole. This will help the gusset form the corner. To do this, rotary punch on the smallest setting, then crank it up one click. Cut out just a little bit as seen here. Everything is cut out. Okay, so let's mark the leather an eighth of an inch from the edge. This will be our sewing guide. Also, let's buff the edges while we're at it. Finish all exposed edges with edge paint or buffing. I've already posted a video on how I finish my edges on this channel. There's a link to a video in the description box or you can check the library of videos. How far you want to go with this is completely up to you.
Assemble card case. Use machine or hand sewing techniques. Apply pricking iron to edges where you'll hand sew. Pricking irons, I suggest you do the short side first, working from the top down. I suggest leaving about an eighth of an inch from the top gusset, then start the pricking. Count how many slots you make and then do the same amount on the opposite side. Transfer marks for the facing, then glue in place. the time to do any extra decorative sewing. On mine, I did machine sewing along the top edges of the card slots and the inside flap facing. Buff the edges till they're smooth and even. Apply edge paint or finishing. Do what you want to do, it depends on you. Sew the center card slot. Apply the hardware you want to use. I got this snap set from Amazon and it comes with directions in the box. Last step, sew the sides, done. People, that's it for today's project. We are complete. Thank you so much for checking out this tutorial and thank you so much for rocking with me. As always, I wish you bag success and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.